Did you know that if you're the smartest person in the room, you should run? My dear old dad taught me that. He said to always surround yourself with people who are more brilliant than you are in the different aspects of where you're trying to go. That became one of the wisest pieces of advice that I'd ever found. And when I found the Independent Christian Churches International, Dr. Ned Hicks and Dr. Lonnie Rex suddenly came onto my radar as two of the brightest men concerning the interaction between what I wanted to do for God and the legalities of working with the Internal Revenue Service as a nonprofit corporation. There were so many things I had been doing. There were so many things that I had been a part of. I had had many uh, opportunities in corporations, uh, 501c3s, I'd worked with many lawyers, and it was always this web that I couldn't penetrate and never could really quite get my hands around. And as I began to move with these older gentlemen who had spent a lifetime figuring out the power of the gift of God that was given to us by the United States government in the 501c3 laws, I quit looking at it as a daunting problem and saw it for the first time in my life as a tool to help me do what I needed to do for the kingdom and to help mankind. Sitting with me today is Bishop Dave Dolan. We've known each other for a long, long time, but in the last three years, he became a part of the Independent Christian Churches International because he saw value. Now, these days, the Independent Christian Churches International is not like a, a conference-driven organization where you have a big conference, everybody goes, votes on who the big guy is, uh, everybody sees everybody, goes, plays a little golf, uh, has church, cries a little bit in the altar, and then you go home uh, enthused and excited to go start your work. This is not that kind of organization. You, there's plenty of seminars and plenty of conferences and plenty of preaching opportunities around the United States, but there's no one that really gets it when it comes to how do we help you uh, legally or how do we help you stay into the place to where you can have friends that will raise you up to a place that you want to be in your nonprofit. I understand, and you're going to hear us talking about the ICCI. Well, that's short for the Independent Christian Churches International, uh, and you can look that up on Google or, or look at Ministry Launch because it is our job to launch and keep fuel those of you who are in the specter of the work of God through 501c3 corporations. And that could be anything from a singing group to, a, to those of you who, who feed and clothe, to those of you who deal with the homeless, uh, churches, uh, missionary groups, organizations worldwide. All those things qualify and are in there. But you may be a seasoned pastor or a seasoned organization, and you're tired of what we know as the daunting task of 990s and all the legal gobbledygook that you can get yourself involved in and really local, uh, local uh, lawyers and local uh, accountants just plain don't know. Absolutely. And they can have you overdoing and, and paying for a whole lot. So I just wanted to spend some time with one of the men that after having uh, a lot of success over various corporations, decided to come under the umbrella of the Independent Christian Churches. Dave, what caused you to be drawn to uh, the ICCI uh, more, than, more than just the legality portions? There has to be a spiritual side of that. Absolutely. What caused you to be drawn to work with us and to ac actually create a network of your own that operates within the, inside of the ICCI? Number one is relationship. Uh, Probably five or ten years ago, my wife and I gathered with some pastors because we had a heart for pastors, and we pulled them together for a period of time, but we did not have the accessibility of an instrument to bring them together in camaraderie and unity that could help them. Uh, all of those pastors had their own specific allegiances to different arenas, so we looked for a place where relationships would be built, where there was continuity and consistency in conversation and communication and input, 
where perhaps we might just receive a phone call on a day that we were struggling and we could see that the power of the presence of God was orchestrating each particular unit. We'd already been a part of a number of organizations that created an opportunity for us to be ordained, but we still had the burden of wondering, am I going to get a letter from the IRS? Are we fully covered? Are we connected? And I had an opportunity and an invitation to be with somebody, but I think inadvertently that some organizations have created a caste system and some of the smaller churches have been uh, left by the roadside because things that were spoken about did not create relevancy for them. And so the relationship was the critical part for us. And so that's what we wanted to be a part of as we could carry the baton and bring that specific uh, arena to other pastors. You know, you really bring up a good point there because, because so many of the organizations that you join or denominations or even uh, TV preachers and people like that, they instantly want you to come in and their place becomes the panacea right. of all things uh, uh, wise and all things uh, Christian. If you're doing it like us, then you're doing all right. You're not doing it like us, you're not doing all right. But the ICCI is comprised of, of, of bishops like Dave or, or apostles or leaders that build networks of pastors who are from various and different backgrounds and different ways. Uh, and, and, and when you get together, it's not about come on and see a, a, a part of ours and buy our tapes and do this and that and the other. It's about them. Right. And when you relate to them, you don't relate to them as hierarchy. Right. You relate to them as a laborer. And we have a saying among us uh, that's uh, never over and never under, always beside. And that brings a strength to an individual. They just can't, many times just can't believe this is, they say right. this is too good to be true. It was so liberating to not feel the pressure of having to reduplicate what you saw someone else do and then try to calculate, do I have the finances? Do I have the manpower to do this? But to be told, here are some kingdom principles that worked for us and the principle will work at whatever level your church is exactly. and help you rise to the next level. That's what we needed was a hand up and not just information that created a burden on us to create a polyparrot or robotic imitations. Uh, and I remember early on in our uh, relationship that it, you know you, you founded thrift stores, you founded uh, uh, love centers, giveaway food programs, all that. A lot of that you saw when you came to see us. And you come see the works that we had and, and, and we would tell you, look, it's, it's not unobtainable. Right. It's not unreachable. You can do this. Start on the level where you are, and we're going to help you come up. Right. And, and, and what was, was my practice for almost 50 years now is, uh, uh, is the practice of the ICCI that's been around for over, well, almost 50 years itself now. And, and that excitement breeds to people. So those of you that are uh, desirous of starting a new organization, you want to do something, uh, just a church, uh, maybe, maybe you want to uh, take care of seniors in your area or, or, or a, a, have, a, have a basketball uh, league or, or, or any type of thing that is within the laws will help you walk through that and bring you to a place and bring you to a place right where, where, where Dave was in concert with a network near you so that you can not just be about right. uh, 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 who's praying the longest and who, who's got the biggest church, but who is doing things for the kingdom because right. Jesus says, uh, as you've done unto the least of these, you have done unto me. And there's a whole lot more of us that are the least of these than there are that are the great of these. Right. So the victory comes, and there's somebody calling right now. Thank you. I'll see you next time. God bless you.